Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am showcasing a birthday card where I am featuring the Magic Iris from L'Enfant. So first of all, I started out by stamping my images from Butterfly Kisses and Really High Five from L'Enfant onto Nina 110 using my Melton ink from Gina K Design. I'm going to color with my Copic markers, so I am showcasing all the caps on the sides so that you can see which colors I am using for each image. While I am coloring, I will put on some music and I will be back after all the coloring is done.
Now that all my images are colored in, I'm going to use the matching dies to die cut all the elements and then I can continue with the rest of my card. For the background of my card, I decided to use one of the pattern papers from the Hello Sunshine Remix from L'Enfant and I took my basic rectangles from my 11 to die cut that A2 rectangular panel. And then I am going to die cut all the pieces for the Magic Iris. Uh, you can see here uh, some Nina 110 and then the colored paper is Mint from Simon's stamp. So as you can see here I am assembling the iris so I'm putting down those three pieces using the insert and then I am using some glue dots to put on top of the excess. And next up I will have to lay one of the other pieces, I call it the donuts, um, but you need to lay the, the, one of the donuts on top of it. So make sure that everything is lined and then you can just adhere it. You turn over this piece and then you have those three rectangular pieces on the left of the circle and I am using some score tape to adhere them following the curve of the inside circle that is cut out. These three pieces will help hold it all together. Next up is um, this little element where you can turn the iris open and closed. So you need to make sure that it is almost next to one of those three elements and but it cannot overlap and then the other donut needs to go on there you fold the pieces in but not too tight and then your iris is working so one of my elements here i forgot the name of them so i'm just calling them, them elements one of mine was too loose uh, and later on I will fix that um, but you just need to fold it in really gently. So this mint color I decided to create some more depth on my cardstock and I first thought about cracked pistachio but that didn't work, it was barely showing. So I took the evergreen ball distress ink and I just blended it on the edges of this magic iris scalloped atom. Next up I decided to do the same on the moving part. Therefore I took a tinier brush to help me get it just on the edges of the inside piece. And I will also add it on the little piece with the arrow uh, so that it all fits together.
To help me get everything on the right spots, I decided to first adhere this scalloped add-on and therefore I took my print adhesive roller and I just glued it all over. I tried to avoid the scalloped edge, uh, but when I went over it, I took my eraser, my adhesive eraser, and uh, I just removed the adhesive on the scalloped edges. Now I am gluing it down and um, I'm going to continue with adding all the elements and then figuring out that I should have done it with the iris closed to get like the arrow in the right spot. I really wanted it in the right upper corner and because I forgot it, it almost was ruined. Um, but here I am laying out my design and I was just still figuring out how I was going to do the sentiment. I wanted to do it inside of the iris, um, but I didn't know yet how, so I wanted to place the elements all and then see whether my sentiment would still fit or not. And based on that, I just went on and on and I glued things down and then I realized that it wasn't going to open as I wanted it to, but it was easily fixed thanks to my <laughs> permanent print adhesive roller. Uh, it wasn't adhered that that much yet, so I could remove it still and and fix it. So so I'm adhering all these elements using my Lanfond glue tube, and actually during this card, my glue tube ran out. Uh, it's the first time actually since I'm making cards that I have a glue tube that is empty. Of course I use multiple uh, glue tubes but um, this one is really empty so I need to buy a new one because I'm really happy with the Lanfon liquid glue so it's a must have for me. At this moment I still haven't realized that my iris isn't going to work as I want it to, but I'm already adhering the arrow. So I colored a bunch of elements and I wasn't sure whether I was going to use everything or not and in the end I'm not using any flowers or grass or anything like that. I am using the butterflies, the clouds and so on. So. So this was about the time that I realized <laughs> that it wasn't working as I wanted it to at all. So I tried to remove the scalloped frame that is on top of my iris and it worked uh, because I didn't press it down that firmly yet. 
uh, so I was really lucky so I removed it and I turned it a bit and then <laughs> I adhered it properly and here I also fixed that one tab that is a bit too loose and now it's it's much better now So this is how it was supposed to work from the beginning, um, but of course uh, I messed up a bit. Uh, I'm still figuring it all out. I made another card that I'm going to show you as well in the future, um, where I used a bit too thick paper. Uh, so the iris is not that smooth as I would want it to, but it also worked out. Uh, would you recommend still to use a bit thinner paper than the 110 all the way uh, like this I use the 110 for the donuts but uh, for the moving parts I used cardstock that is 80 uh, pounds I think um, so that works much better so <laughs> that's also why I'm showing this card first um, <laughs> because I'm really really happy with the result so here I'm stamping out the sentiment, which is the happy birthday from the really high five. I really like this script. Um, so I'm stamping first the birthday and I'm going to stamp the happy above it, but really uh, playing with the space that I have left because of all the images that are overlapping with the moving part of the iris. And then I'm going to mask off birthday and stem the happy. Okay, so now I'm going to adhere the iris so I pull down those flaps so that it will all be stuck and will stay there as it should and then I am using my score tape once more to adhere this magic iris on top of my card panel. So before adhering my balloon I looked at how thick the iris was and I decided to use the, the foam squares from scrapbook adhesives but I used the combination of the thick ones or the normal ones and the thin ones and this way it was a perfect height in my opinion to match with the height of the iris so the piece that is overlapping I will cut off uh, but first I am using some diaries sequence and I'm just laying them a bit all over also inside of the iris because there is enough space to keep the mechanism moving even when there are some things adhered on the back and I really like that so I just added a few sequins in the inside as well and then I can adhere this panel on top of an American sized card base I first tested out whether the bigger sequins would also fit but I realized that I was already happy with the smaller ones so I just left them out.
cutting off the excess of the balloon and I am going to add some stickers on the bow of the present as well as some glossy accents on top of that balloon. And then this card is finished. I really hope that you like this card design. It's actually quite simple to make uh, and I really enjoyed making it. So I'm going to make a few more. But first I need to wait on my pattern papers because I run out of my favorite already since I am making cards with pattern papers. Um, but I'm so grateful for you all to stop by. If you have any questions you can always leave them down below. I would love for you to become a subscriber and maybe like this video um, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!